Hi everybody, it's me Yolanda the Crochet Addict. What do you guys think? Am I ready for Halloween or what? I am celebrating Halloween a little bit early. Since my sister is here in the States, she will be going back in a couple days. So we wanted to celebrate Halloween with her since she has never been here during Halloween. Uh, so Jelani, my husband, is getting dressed as a clown and she's getting dressed as a witch. I was supposed to be a witch. My dress was supposed to be a witch's dress, at least on my head. And apparently it's a vampire dress. So I am a pagan witch that has become a vampire. <laughs> so the makeup is pagan inspired. I'm pretty happy with my job. Mm-hmm not too shabby so I have not been buying yarn at all um, for a very very long time I can't remember last time I bought yarn <sighs> but here I am with a freaking butt but Ice Yarns was doing their lot sale in Ice Yarns you can go for the sales yarns it's the yarn that they're getting rid of and they have such thing as lots, yarn lots. And it's pretty much what you see in that picture, that's what you get, you don't know specifics. The only thing that you for sure know is if it's natural fibers like wool cotton or is it um, acrylic. So I saw that saver, I saw word saver leftovers lots. I'm like, yes. So the reason why they do these lot sales is because um, they didn't have en enough yarn to make that full skein. Um, something happened, maybe machine malfunctioned in a factory, and there's something off. I never had any problem with it, except that a lot of times it can be small balls. But anyway, so I bought the colors that I run out of really fast, and I hope it's Saver. The saver that I'm thinking about. I hope it's not that other one. But let's check together. Look how huge this is. Um, can it fit here? Let me scooch you a little bit further. There we go. So the only yarn that I bought was the uh, saver yarn. And I'm really, really hoping it's the type of saver yarn that because nowadays they have a bunch of different saver saver 155 saver 300 and i was really disappointed with saver one is it saver 100 yeah that was saver 100 they used to have really good saver 100 and then it became garbage so anyways i hope it's that normal saver and not not what I don't want to get. Oh. So I bought three lots and that's what I'm getting. One, two, three lots. Each lot was $15, $14.99. Um, oh, they don't have my receipt here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little homework and Insert. Oh, this is such another flattering angle. Oh, wow, they really sucked that you're out of it. So hard. Okay, let's open it. I was really, really wanting to know if this is the saver that I'm thinking of. I think it is. I think it's the normal saver. Okay, so see on the sales lots they have like the leftovers. So it's not a full skein. So they have empty tags that say nothing except it's from Turkey. But when they were on the site they were saying that it's uh, a saver. This one um, 
feels like my sheen didn't tighten it, didn't wind it tight enough. It's very like flabby. So I think that's the problem of it. The black one also like it's very flat, flimsy, flabby. So it could have been like a new person who was getting trained how to do it. Okay, I see some cuts here. Okay, so this one is, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a mess. You know what? That's okay. I'm going to use it up in my scrap blankets and stuff. This one, there's nothing wrong with it except it's thinner and very flimsy. So I think they might have been training somebody. That's my guess. Look at this giant one. That is way bigger than what they usually are. Oh, that's about the same size. Let me quickly grab the saver scheme. I'll be right back. I'm back. So I grabbed this when you purchase from the site for their full price. The normal way, this is how they come in. It is 100% Draylon acrylic, weigh four, recommends five millimeter needles. So I use 6.5 crochet hook. That's my favorite hook. Um, and it's saver, nothing else, it's just saver. And it's 200 grams, 330 meters. So let me open this so we can take a look. Well, and I also have, I believe the same color. No, that one is darker, but close enough color. So, oh, I see. Yep. These are definitely on sale. You know, when I saw saver, on such a cheap sale, like it was really good. When I saw it, that it was this cheap, I was like, th there has to be something wrong with it. I figured it's like smaller skins or something, but I can definitely see. Look, this skin. <laughs> There's two mixed colors in it. It's as soft as it can be. It's just like exactly the same material. It feels exactly the same. This gray feels even softer. Let's see. So I have this a lot. Oh, this is two lots. So a lot is pretty much this whole thing. I was hoping there would be a same color. This a lot of these skins are like much thinner. I see these teal ones are just as normal. I'm trying to find what could be wrong with these. Let me take out this pink. The only problem that I see that it was uh, probably machine went rogue and it wound it wrong. Know how it's normally like wind very nicely in a pattern. Looks like machine malfunctioned and it won't winded it wrong. You see how it's all like winded here? So I think that's what happened. I see like a knot that happened. Look, not a big deal for how much less it costs. I'm more than happy. Look how big. The skin is. Once again, I see the wrong and winding, and then I see a piece of hair. So that's why it went for sale. Yep, I see. Looks like candle wax. 
maybe some glue or something feel it looks like glue so I'll wind it off and guess what it's amazing I will put that price here how much it costs me I'll try to do a math for a hundred grams each so that one was a little bit rougher yeah it looks like these got spilled with glue I'm guessing glue wax or glue it feels more like wax this one doesn't have just like one little so these seem like they were done because the winding looks pretty good they're not flimsy they're pretty stiff the way they should be but looks like something got spilled glass or uh glue or and this one just got all kinds of messed up in winding no knots, I don't see any knots. I see a couple cuts. So that's gonna have some cuts. You know what? When the yarn is this cheap, I am not going to complain about and this one is perfect. It has nothing wrong with it. It has a little fuzz from like other yarn, maybe. That got winded into it. Yep, that's what mm-hmm. It's perfectly fine with me. A little fuzz does not bother me. This one is perfect. Nothing is wrong with this one. I will see later on. There might be some cuts and stuff. The winding looks a little bit off. Like the pattern. Okay, I see there's some stuff that happened to it. Like here. But I'll tell you the price. The price is insanely good. The price was so, so, so good. This feels super nice, but this is how it's supposed to be winded and perfectly done. So that's kind of cool that they figured out the idea that, hey, the yarn that we mess up or something happens, we can just sell it and people will buy it. Guess what? I'll be the first one to click buy on savers oh this one feels so nice oh god there's nothing wrong with it except that it's maybe loose winding so it keeps falling off mm, and it looks it's not as tight i think that's the problem for them is that it was not tight enough of a winding but look at this color i'm happy it is Saver 100. There's nothing else wrong with it except that it's loosely winded. I'm happy. How much of this did I bought? Well, I am going to have to pause this video and come back to you with that information. I'm back. I did my math. So, oh, another thing I noticed, I can smell a little bit of wool. So I wonder if some of the wool, you know, just little flares got onto yarn. I could be wrong. It could be a factory smell. Anyways, so if you're allergic to wool, I probably would not be, buy uh, say lots. But if you're not allergic to wool, let me tell you. So, for the yarn itself, for 6,000 grams, which is a lot, it's, it's a lot. So for 6,000 grams that I bought of yarn, I paid... $44.97 US dollars. Shipping was $74.95. Um, I'm not worried about their shipping because when you do all the math, um, the yarn still comes out much cheaper than you would buy here in the States. So anyways, for my total, the huge package that you saw, it was $119.92. So, 
So normally for the Saver yarn, it's just Saver, nothing else. Not Saver 150, not 200, it's just Saver. That's the only Saver I like. Normally the Saver for one skein, one skein, not the whole package, just one skein of yarn, which is 200 grams, which is 7.05 ounces, you pay normally $3.49. So I did all the math. I divided uh, how much I paid for 200 grams. And I paid $1.50. So to compare one skein of Saver that you buy regularly and Saver, when I did all the math, with save lots, I pay dollar fifty um, for skin. So it's a saving of almost. Uh, it's a saving of two dollars. Yeah, it's almost two dollars saving. One dollar ninety nine saving. That's a huge saving. So I'm happy with it. Oh, a couple of these have the smell of wool. So like I said, if you have wool allergies, I would not gamble buying um, the Lutz yarn. If it's not a big deal, the wool is not deadly to you. Like this is soft. Like you don't feel wool. It just, I think some of the fuzzies might be from the wool. Anyways, so... That is what I got with my sales yarn. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.